Good morning, everyone. Or is it afternoon yet? <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Donzella James, and I am so honored to be here. I see we have uh, another media coming in, I hope. To, uh, so we were taking a minute or two to, to get started. But we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, I've been a state senator for many years, but uh, I've had two tenures. And my very first time I ran in the 90s, and I won. But guess who was the first person to give me a donation that was more than $100? Our mayor, Maynard Jackson. And I've known him all my life. I'm, I'm a Grady baby. I'm from Atlanta. And I've uh, known the family for many, many years. And I'm just so honored and privileged to be a part of this occasion today where we remember him. We're gonna, his legacy will live on forever and ever. But we're going to remember him as everyone uh, passes this new interchange. So at this time, I will stop. Uh, Roger, I carried the legislation on the Senate side, and then um, Representative Roger Bruce carried it on the House side. And on the Senate side, it, it uh, won overwhelmingly. We had a unanimous vote. Nobody voted against it. All 56. So I'm going to uh, stop at this time so we can get started. And Pastor, I'm so honored to see you here, and I'm going to back up and you bless us this morning. Honored to see you as well. You. Family, can we join for a moment of prayer? Eternal God, we gather today as a community, joined together in honor and celebration of one of your soldiers, one of your servants in the vineyard that was deeply committed to people, especially the people in the state of Georgia, one of your soldiers that stirred up the South by his unapologetically African-American presence, one of your examples of faith, courage, and determination that gave the people in this great city of Atlanta a legacy to model after. So we gather, God, to make this a moment, an honor for the Honorable Maynard Jackson. What a fitting name to attach to your servant, Interchange. He continued to interchange ideas and projects. He continued to interchange with each other, with others other than himself, so that they would reach plateaus of business ownership that otherwise would not have been possible. And he interchanged with relationships so that the voices of the unheard could have a place. So God, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for this occasion. Now may it be that as this Maynard Jackson interchange becomes a reality, that each and every car that travels, each and every visual of the signs, each and every pedestrian that passes will feel the spirit of uplift, the spirit of collaboration, the spirit of advancement that Mayor Jackson brought to Atlanta. May each and every child that asks the question, who is Maynard Jackson, as they see part of this interchange, may they be able to feel, be filled with strength, power, and authority as their question is answered, who is behind this magnificent moment. May each and every adult as they travel feel the wisdom and purpose from all of those that have gone before us and labored so well. And the one that we celebrate today, may they feel his purpose as they travel across this inter interchange. Now God, have this moment, have this time together as that we come and celebrate one of yours that did it great. And now God, we thank you for the opportunity that his legacy will live on, both in what we remember and what we see. So have your way on this day. It is in the mighty name of Christ that we pray. Let the people of God say, amen. Amen. I want to, I invited, we call him Pastor Paul, and I invited him to come because I want you to see why I get up on Sunday mornings and go and worship. <laughs> and uh, this is a good brother. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
He didn't do it, but I'll do it. I'll invite you to come to Impact United Methodist Church anytime you want to. You can do that too. Go ahead. All right. Eight, eight, 10, 8, 10, and 12 each and every Sunday. Impact Church, 2323 Sylvan Road in East Point, Atlanta, really Atlanta. But we are there every Sunday, 8, 10, and 12, or online, impactdcd.org. Come on and share with us. Amen. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. And, uh, I don't know if this thing is working or not. Is it on? But um, I didn't give him any notice about this, really. I called him, I think, a day or two ago and asked him if he could do it. He was driving in his car uh, when I reached him, and uh, he was absolutely, yeah, I'm going to be there. And he got here before me. So thank you, Pastor Paul. I really appreciate it very, very much. Um, this is a, a very special moment for, for me. All of us have a Manny Jackson story. I, everybody I know has a Manny Jackson story. Whether they knew him or not, they got a Manny Jackson story. Uh, but I had the pleasure of meeting him uh, when I got here in 1971 to be a freshman at Morehouse College. And uh, he was not mayor yet when I met him. And uh, it was an interesting thing. Morehouse had a program where they would bring people in uh, to talk to the students and to pump us up and motivate us and, and let us know that we were you know, going to be responsible people in the course of our life. And uh, the interesting thing for me is I grew up in, in Harlem in the projects in New York. And those of you that are my age or older know that back then, if you lived in the projects, they did not want a man in the house. And if there was, then you had to hide them when they came around and, and checked things out. Uh, they did not want to give services or, or resources to people if there was a man in the house. So people my age grew up without having male images in, in, in Harlem. We just didn't. Most of the men that we met were alcoholics. Uh, they, they were living on the streets or they were hiding. I mean, you just did not see uh, the average black man in an environment that was you know, conducive for living. And so when I got down here, and I got here kind of by accident, but I got here, and uh, that's a whole other story, and we don't have time to go through the whole thing, but the, uh, I was telling people, I, I graduated from a Catholic military high school, and, uh, which was weird because by day they were teaching me to love my neighbor and at night how to kill him, and, uh, but that was Catholic and military. And uh, so when I got here, and I was in this, in this class, they invited this guy to come and talk and tell us all these things. And I heard a black man saying things I had never heard a black man say before. I just didn't. And, uh, you know, that you could be all that you want to be as long as you put your mind into it. I mean, he said all kinds of things that I had just never heard. And uh, I went up to him afterwards and introduced myself, told him I was a freshman at Morehouse. And he said, well, you know I graduated from Morehouse too. Uh, I was a younger guy when I graduated, but he wasn't that old then. And uh, so it turns out it was Maynard Jackson. And he said, look, come work at my law firm uh, after school. And I'm like, okay. And uh, I didn't even ask if it paid. You know, he just said, come on, work over there. And those that, that know, it was Jackson, Patterson, Parks, and Franklin. And uh, I became friends with all of those guys. And uh, then when Maynard decided to run for for mayor, I was all in. And uh, we were working as, as students. We organized across the, the campus, or all the campuses actually, and every student that I came across wanted Maynard Jackson to become the first African American mayor of this city. And I have never seen that many people, you know, working together for a common cause in the belief that if we get behind this man, that we're gonna have a better life and a better opportunity in the greatest city on the planet. And uh, so I'm very, very proud to be part of this. I thank my colleague uh, in the Senate for uh, allowing me to participate with this uh, on the House side. And um, I thank all of you. I've had a chance to meet uh, his family and um, I've known them for quite a while now too. And I was just teasing her that I knew her when she was a bellyache. And, uh, and she was a little, she wasn't here when I met your mother. <laughs> and uh, so, again, I want to just thank you all for coming. Thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for allowing this to be part of my life. And um, with that, I'm going to turn it over to, 
Manny Jackson. Jackson the third, <coughs> and uh, and let him make whatever comments he wants to make, and then we'll turn it over to, to Valerie. Okay. Thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, I know in, in um, California they're always like wiping the mic off. Do y'all do that? Uh, anyway, I, I trust. Uh, I, I trust. I trust. I tell you what. I'm just gonna say thank you, Jesus, over it. And <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Maynard Jackson III. I'm the son of the former mayor Maynard Holbrook. Jackson Jr. Um, and that's all of my speech that I've memorized. <laughs> yeah. um, well, I want to thank you for allowing me to offer a few remarks about this occasion and sharing with you on behalf of my family our gratitude to the elected officials that made this dedication possible. Thank you, officials Roger Bruce, Donzella, James, to reach out for reaching out to me directly for this momentous occasion. I often think about my father's approach to getting things done in politics, and we all know that he was an advocate for all people. He believed in the democracy, he believed in democracy and protecting the rights of, of all citizens. This naming of this interchange is a result of our officials working together to get something done. You know, and uh, that doesn't, that's not a small thing, it doesn't go unnoticed by me that, that there was um, you know, bipartisan support and, and everybody voted yes. So I just wanna thank everyone who, who voted yes. You know, um, that, that's really special. So, um, yeah. Yeah, he believed in democracy and protecting the rights of all citizens. This naming of this interchange is a result of our working together to get something done. We all know we need to do that right about now, right? Yes. Memories of my father also include a mantra by which is used to outline his governing that his maternal grandfather, John Wesley Dobbs, taught his family and share with his community. The book, the ballad, and the buck. On this eve of one of the most important elections in modern history, I wanted to share a quote made by my father in his own words. Maynard Jackson, this is an America where the most perfect revolutionary act in this democracy is voting. Black elected officials have all of the challenges that white elected officials have with the majority overlay in addition. That overlay is to prove we shouldn't have to do this. It's not fair that we're asked to do this. It's not fair that we're expected to do this. But the reality is that we've got to prove ourselves more than others. When we talk about our eyes on the prize, We've got to be sure that we are electing people to office who, first of all, know what prize they're after. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what is the prize? The prize is equal opportunity. It is good management. It is a better way and a better day. It is a change from the status quo and the prize also is to serve well and to serve fairly, to serve honestly, but to make a difference. And if the only thing one is doing is, is holding office, say hi, look at me, I'm a black elected official. Y'all can hear him saying this, I've oh, heard yes. it many times. <laughs> Yeah, and then not taking care of business. If they're not using the power that they have to change things for the better, they are a waste. The 
Prize is a better way and a better day for all people, especially those who are oppressed. This is an, this is an interview by Jackie Shearer, October 24th, 1988. And wow, does it ring true to this very moment. Um, I share this with you because the remaining, because the naming of, the, of this intersection is a reminder of the man who believed in the power of making the lives of the constituent, con, con, t, constituents of Georgia stronger. He understood his assignment, and that assignment remains applicable for all of us today. Um, I just want to take a moment before I close to um, just recognize the um, the impact of this moment we're at right now um, in Georgia and America as a whole. You know, um, Georgia has come down to be literally the cornerstone, if in my opinion, of uh, of democracy, of keeping our democracy a democracy. And so, um, the timing of this really just rings 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 true right now, especially with uh, with the um, affirmative action hanging in the balance, if you will. Um, so thank you again, Roger and Donzella. And um, thank you, Georgia. Thank you for honoring my father's love and dedication to the city of Atlanta. We are humbled. Be blessed and let's make sure that we all exercise and champion our democracy. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, a special thank you from me also to Representative Roger Bruce. I tell you, I knew some of these guys when they were still young. <laughs> and also Senator Donzella James, thank you for your efforts in pushing this forward. I am delighted that this day is here, that you have succeeded in your efforts. Thank you for this tribute to my husband, Maynard. For almost 20 years now, the Jackson family continues to be lifted up by the public tributes in honor of Maynard's spirit and legacy, and we are grateful. The Maynard H. Jackson interchange connecting the John Lewis Freedom Parkway with Andrew Young International Boulevard reflects a strong relationship actually between these three legendary elected officials. And I emphasize the word elected here because as many of you have heard Maynard say many times that many of you know elected officials are the only ones who can set public policy. Others can influence it, others can try to buy it, but only elected officials can set public policy. And so I appreciate the fact that these elected officials have come together and have made this tribute in honor of Maynard. Also, these three legendary leaders reflect Maynard's grandfather, John Wesley Dobbs, three Bs, as was already mentioned by his grand, great-grandson. Is he great-grandson or great <laughs> Yeah, his great-grandson. <laughs> That's how ingrained these words are into the family, the three Bs, the book, the ballot, and the buck. Yep. These are reflected in the three legendary figures being honored uh, in conjunction today. The book, meaning both the Bible and books of education. Pastor Andrew Young taught the nonviolent philosophy of the Reverend Martin Luther King that spread from churches to classrooms in our schools and universities, involving into nonviolent sit-ins and demonstrations and marches. And Andy continues to inspire and instruct today through his books and his films 
and the Andrew Young School of Policy Studies at Georgia State. The ballot. John R. Lewis worked tirelessly for over six decades to expand access to the ballot box for voters of color. When the Supreme Court gutted the 1965 Voting Rights Act, the most successful civil rights legislation in the history of this country, which, by the way, John Lewis helped to pass because this was right after the Bloody Sunday at Edmund Pettus Bridge in 1965. And so John was a prime example of what we were fighting for and the necessity of that Voting Rights Act. Voting rights Act. John continued, and please forgive me for calling him John instead of <laughs> his formal title, but we've been friends for so long, it's kind of hard to switch. Um, uh, John continues to be active and encouraged all of us to get into good trouble. And as a matter of fact, the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act, which is hope will replace and revisit the original um, Voting Rights Act, the John Lewis Voting Rights Advancement Act continues his legacy today. And finally, the buck. Building on the book and the ballot, Maynard brought the third leg of the trilogy to the formula, the buck, demanding a piece of the city's economic pie for minorities and women. In some ways, this was almost kind of the most difficult part of the three Bs to achieve, because often people you know, will tolerate things that really don't affect them personally. But when you start talking about money, everybody pays a lot more attention. Mm -hmm. Maynard faced stiff opposition for his inclusive policies for the city of Atlanta's economic wow. development. As a matter of fact, especially when he was building the new airport terminal. He got a lot of flack for that. But Andrew Young said, quote, Maynard was in the tradition of Harriet Tubman, Sojourner Truth, W.E.B. Du Bois, and Marcus Garvey. He stood his ground no matter what the odds. He stood up to the business community, the state, and many others. Maynard's mentor, Benjamin E. Mays of the Morehouse College, often said, if you believe in something, you must act on it. If you don't act on it, it's not a belief. It's just an opinion. Mm. By his actions, Maynard demonstrated his belief in the three Bs and in the city of Atlanta. Our friend John Lewis said at Maynard's memorial service, Maynard Jackson must be looked upon as one of the founding fathers of the new Atlanta the New South, and the New America. How very fitting, I thought, and I'm going to get emotional, how very fitting that these three great legendary warriors will be joined ever in perpetuity with this interchange sign. And on behalf of the Maynard Jackson family, thank you again for this significant tribute. And as it was with Maynard, even after he left office, we shall continue to be at your service. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. I just want to introduce the rest of the family here. Of course, you met Buzzy. I'm sorry, yeah. Maynard the third. Yeah. I can't. <laughs> stand. I, I'll introduce so that I see. I might not be able to see all the way to the back, so you do have to stand. Uh, and and um, uh, Maynard Jackson the third's wife, Wendy Eli Jackson. Stand up, Wendy. <laughs> Maynard's and my daughter, our youngest daughter, Alexandra Jackson Harris. People have come up to her and said, do you know Maynard Jackson? Because you look like him. <laughs> and was there someone in the back I missed? I can't see that far back. Any relatives? OK. And of course, Maynard's very good friend, Aaron Turpo. 
and his son, Aaron. Are you the third, or are you? Are you your son, Aaron? Are you a? Oh, but you do have a third, okay, yeah. Well, the Turpo family, let me just put it that way. Okay. And, oh, okay, okay, all right. And, and, and you put it to good use, sir, I might add. Okay, now he's not family, but this man, Gary Wright, stand up, Gary. Gary was my husband's security for so many years that we thought he was part of the family. So, <laughs> what, what to say? I was going to say, I'm sure you recognize somebody who looked back there. I told you I can't see that far. No, you saw Gary. Oh, 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 okay, good. I, yeah, but Gary was kind enough to bring me over as well with Carolyn, his, his uh, assistant today, or his, his friend today, uh, who helped with the, the driving. Um, and if there's anyone else, I don't want to miss. Oh, of course, my sister, my birthday sister, Sue Ross, who has more pictures of Maynard than I do. Yeah. Sue Ross and I share a birthday, April the 3rd, so we call it, we, we're birthday sisters. Um, I, well, why don't we just introduce everybody? <laughs> I feel, you know, I, I'm close to everyone. I don't see anyone that I don't really know. Perhaps someone that I can't call the name of only because I'm something, 70 something, something and I just don't remember <laughs> all those names now. But thank you, everyone, those who are elected officials, those who are friends and family, guests. Um, Thank you so much. This is truly an honor and so much appreciated. And God bless you all. Thank you. I don't know if I can get up here or not. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I have new knees and I had a wreck uh, two days ago where they sat, uh, I don't think I can get up. Okay, we'll just do it from there. Let's do it from there. You're good where you are. Okay. We can hear you. Let me come you out a little. You don't need to stand yeah. on ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can talk loud. Okay, yeah, I can, yeah, he said I can talk loud. <laughs> can you um, bend this toward me? I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna come out. That's for him, that's for him. It does, no, but it, it bends this way. So it'll be a little closer. <laughs> wow. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen? Amen. This is a great day in Georgia. It's a great day because we're not just naming a street. We're recognizing not just the icon of of, of our area, but the man that really stood as our great leader for the city of Atlanta. He changed the face. You know, Martin Luther King and John Lewis and all of those might have been out there marching, but he actually came and made the changes. And I am so honored and privileged to be a part of this occasion and I wish that I could walk a little better. <laughs> Please tell Beth that I said hello. Because you know, in the day, I used to, we used to talk all the time and, and be together. And even, even when she moved up to the DC area, I still uh, stay in touch with her. Let her know that I always said that if, when I get in the Senate, I'm gonna make sure I recognize those people who deserve to be recognized. All right. and, and as the Bible said, give honor to those who, who uh, what? Yes. How, to those who, Benny, help me. But anyway, <laughs> that's my husband back there, my brand new husband, y'all. <laughs> I was a widow almost 10 years. <laughs> but uh, he's a minister. I made him come out the yard and, and cutting the grass to bring me up here because of the knees. But anyway, enough about me. You see, uh, we, when we thought about naming this interchange, we wanted to make sure that we had a civil rights uh, interchange a and a movement to continue. And 
when, when we did it, I thought about, wow, well, right here uh, where it's going to start is King, uh, Martin Luther King Center within a block of it, right at the, at the freeway where we're going to start. And the street right there is a Dobbs, named after his granddaddy, great-granddaddy. And, and then I said, and they have a spaghetti junction up, up on the north side. We're going to have a civil rights junction <laughs> of Maynard Jackson Jr. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Amen. And you know what? I, I want to point out um, what's so significant, too, about the location. Uh -huh. that, um, that Jackson Parkway, that's yeah. the place where everybody likes to take a picture. Of yes, the, yes. The Jackson Street Bridge, right? It, and, it's, um, it's because um, it's I, where I, it I, starts. I, everybody would ask me, is that because Wow. Not to be confused with the president. And president. So that makes it even <laughs> that much more special. But he founded Wheat Street Baptist Church. Oh, my goodness. And see, guess what? It's just a mile. All the places you're naming is where uh, your dad actually grew up and then uh, continued to, to uh, strengthen his leadership. And the, right, yeah, so, Street, right. so, yeah, Houston Street. So anyway, Dobbs, then uh, Martin Luther King Center, and we're right there, it starts right there where the hand of uh, the sculpture of Martin Luther King reaching out to everyone, and John Lewis's Freedom Parkway ends right there and goes into it. And, uh, and so the junction, one of them go to, uh, as you said, Andrew Young International uh, uh, Freeway and park, Parkway, and then the other one goes 75 and 85 take you to the Grady Curve and where the, uh, where the uh, City Hall is located and the Capitol. So all of this is, is surrounded by your dad. And it was only fitting and proper that we recognize him in this way. So we're going to put out, with the media's help over there, we're going to put out a, a press release to say we're going to name it like it's the Civil Rights Junction. And it's going to be the Maynard Jackson Interchange. And we wanted to, to have Junior on there, but uh, I'm going to blame, blame D.O.T., <laughs> the representative. <laughs> but she is our representative, and she do, do an excellent job. But when you pass the legislation, somehow they just pick out the words they want to and put it on signs sometime. But we, we've honored different people who were a product of, of, of the Atlanta, Georgia area, and honored them. And so he's like Gladys Knight, uh, John Lewis, of course. We, we, uh, it was just the Freedom Parkway at first, and Andy Young. So we, we named the people who really deserve this kind of honor. And so the resolution reads, recognizing Maynard Jackson and dedicating an interchange in his honor and for other purposes. Whereas Mayor Maynard Jackson II has long been recognized by the citizens of this state for the vital role that he played in leadership and his deep personal commitment to the uh, welfare of the citizens of Georgia. And whereas Maynard Jackson was born March 23rd, 1938 in Dallas, Texas, the beloved son of Maynard H. Jackson, Sr., a minister, and Irene Dobbs uh, Jackson, a French professor, and whereas a graduate of Morehouse College, Mayor Jackson earned his law degree at North Carolina Central University and worked as an attorney for the National Labor Relations Board and a, and a legal services firm in the late 50s. And whereas Maynard Jackson was elected mayor of Atlanta in 1969, a role later modified to be the president of the city council. And in 1973, he was elected mayor of Atlanta, the first black mayor of a large southern city. And whereas during his tenure as mayor, he increased participation of minority-owned businesses in municipal contracts, 
facilitated the construction of the new terminal at the Hartsfield Atlanta, not a Hartsfield Jackson, Atlanta International Airport, transformed the police department and promoted involvement of the public in neighborhood planning. And the list goes on and on and on of all of the great things that he has done and the things that he still stands for. His legacy will live forever. It's not just 20 years or whatever. It's forever and ever. And you, I tell you, you you're the, probably the youngest daughter, and you can tell when you have children and grandchildren that they can come up here to the state capitol and look in the archives and know why we honored your dad so many years later after his, his uh, transition into heaven. Also, be it further resolved that the Department of Transportation is authorized and directed to erect and maintain appropriate signs dedicating the Maynard Jackson interchange. And uh, it's going to, is it already up there? Uh, it will be by tomorrow, uh, by Monday. It will be, Monday. it will be there, and uh, we have extra signs for the family. We wanted to make it further resolved that the secretary of the Senate is authorized to also make official copies of the resolution to the family members, and it's it's in progress now. They, so one today, and then you'll get all. And we will, uh, I, if, and I will personally frame them for you. So you just let me know what you, what you want Roger and I to do. And uh, be it further resolved that uh, Maynard Jackson, Mayor Maynard Jackson II, is, was one of the greatest leaders that we've ever had. And he had, uh, I mean, he has magnet, uh, what it, Somebody give me the words again. <laughs> and everything else. And he was good looking too. That's how y'all look so good. <laughs> but hey, you can clap for that, right? Yes, there you go. <laughs> the real meaning of swag. So everyone, again, I'm honored that I had a small part in this today. And I, we, it's not complete unless we let our DOT official, and uh, it, most, most, yeah, most people already know you, uh, <laughs> Ms. Lemons. Ms. Dana Lemons uh, has represented us. We, all the legislators in the House and Senate, vote on who will represent us. And you represented us for 20 years. For 20 years. So I want the whole family, you want the whole family to come join you? Okay. My name is Dana Lemon, and I serve on the Department of Transportation Board, representing the 13th Congressional District. I've worked with her and Roger Bruce, Representative Bruce, for many, many years, and served on the board for many years. And this is a great honor for me on behalf of the over 3,500 employees of the state of Georgia Department of Transportation, our leadership, 14 members of our board, and our senior leadership to present this sign, which is going to be erected, Senator James, I'm not exactly sure when, <laughs> but it will be erected soon. Yeah, I think it is already. Honoring, I think they put it up on. Um, a man unlike any other man. Oh. Well, yes, ma'am. Oh, perfect time. I was about to say, what perfect song? <laughs> the Maynard Jackson Interchange. myself all the time she says everything that that we think in our hearts so thank you all um, this is an incredible honor and um, seeing the love that I know my father still gets every day from everyone in this city and state and country um, just warms our heart and makes it all worth it so Thank you all so much. Thank you. And, and, uh, I'll tell you and, one thing we can say. Yeah, I want you to vote. That's what yeah. I mean. <laughs> Before you say vote, I'm sure everybody in here does that. Maynard. Yeah. Again. Maynard, please tell recognize everybody. your sisters right. and brother uh, and, and uh, mom and everyone. 
who are not here with us today. Maynard. Oh, who's not here? Uh, recognize Beth. Recognize oh, Beth. Oh, Beth, Beth, Beth Howie. And Beth, yeah. Oh, God. Countless cousins. Cause Say uh, their my names. daughter Isabella, uh, my son Luke, Cosmo, Carl, <laughs> I mean Jonna, um, <laughs> the, the whole family. Really? The Evans, <laughs> the Evans <laughs> young lady. Let me just, let me just clarify, Maynard's children Brooke. and Brooke. Yes, that's what I'm going to say. Maynard's children will be Brooke. She's the oldest. Well, actually, Beth. Beth is the oldest. Beth, 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 Beth is the Brooke. oldest. Beth, Brooke, uh, Maynard the third. And then Valerie, Amanda, my daughter, and Alexandra, my daughter. Those are the five children. Oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> right. And, and, now and she, unfortunately, um, and the, the DOT could not block off the street where it is today because of the traffic, the high volume of traffic. And we didn't put, want to put anybody in harm's way. But uh, on days when there's no traffic, like early in the morning or something, on a Saturday or a Sunday, Absolutely. you somebody might want to go and stand close and get a picture yeah. taken, and I would love to, to uh, uh, assist you in any way that I can. Thank and you. in the meantime, Thank we have these miniatures for you guys. Too. Yes, oh, we do. These are the miniatures. Your signs are here. But these are the miniatures. Oh,